A U.S. health agency has approved a new treatment for a form of childhood leukemia that uses the patient's own genetically modified cells to fight the disease. It's the first gene therapy to be given the green light for commercial use in the U.S. We, we see this as the keystone, really the first of, of many, starting a whole new field of therapy. Food and Drug Administration Commissioner Scott Gottlieb said new technologies such as gene and cell therapies hold out the potential to transform medicine and our ability to treat and even cure many intractable illnesses. The therapy, developed by the Swiss pharmaceutical company Novartis, involves taking some of the leukemia patient's white blood cells and essentially reprogramming part of their genetic code. When the cells are reintroduced into the patients, the genetically modified cells attack and destroy cancer cells. The gene treatment will be marketed as Kimraya and is meant for children and young adults who have relapsed after receiving standard therapy for acute leukemia. It's one of a number of gene therapies in the government approval pipeline that could significantly change the standard of care for a range of aggressive, hard-to-treat cancers. We expect uh, the next disease to be lymphoma, which is another mostly blood cancer, but a lot of work going on in the more common lung cancer, colon cancer, brain cancers. But Kim Raya won't come cheap. A single course of treatment will cost $475,000. So while gene therapies open up many possibilities for saving lives, they also raise many questions about how patients, insurance companies, and public health systems will pay for them. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Washington.